Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy uh, Domino Dives In and uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, my manga haul as of August of 2020. So yeah, um, I really started diving into uh, manga more and I love anime so I thought why not start reading manga more. So yeah, uh, uh, well this one is by one of my uh, favorite authors, Inio Asano, Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction. This book is really good. Um, basically it's like about like an alien invasion and basically like, uh, like they don't really, like how do I say it? Like they show the aliens in it at first, but like it's not really there until like later on in the first volume at least. I am planning on picking up uh, volume 2 eventually of this series. I, I think it's great. Honestly, uh, I, I love his work. Like he's a very good uh, mangaka. So yeah, <clears throat> next um is Jujutsu Kaisen guys. This, this right here. Probably one of the best mangas I've ever read. I got one through five. I haven't read four and five yet. But what can I say? If you guys want like action, uh, let me just talk about it real quick. Basically, um, yo, it's about um, Yoji and like his friends. Like they basically were gonna like um, make like a club basically talking about um you know the supernatural and stuff like that and like basically then uh, that's when uh yoji gets recruited to basically you know um hunt curses which it curses spirits it's like almost the same concept uh basically uh he eats a curse uh finger himself to transform into like this new half curse half regular person he was already athletic as it is so yeah um like i said judicial kaisen guys if you like th this is gonna be an anime in october but yeah if you guys like uh like demon slayer um like stuff like that demon slayer uh it has a little bit of like um what's the other one i was thinking of like a little bit of hunter hunter vibes like when it comes to like the power scaling and stuff like that but yeah it, it's really good uh i also have uh fire force now i bought this before i realized that um season two was out so i mean i kind of already knew what was going to happen in this volume so like i read it i like it it's, fire force is very good right now guys if you don't if you're not watching fire force then you guys got to pick it up because it's amazing. Uh, basically, uh, Fire Force is about uh, Shinra, who basically, like, could use fire. And he's, like, a second... Well, no, he's, like, a third generation because uh, second generations need, like, uh, something to, con like, start up their fire, basically. Like, they need a weapon or something. And third generations could just do it, like, out of their body. So, yeah. Um, it's really good. It's basically, like firefighters but like they're fighting fucking demons and shit like that all right so next book i have manga a girl on the shore by Inio Sano. this book what can i say um this manga basically is about uh a girl and a boy not really like a love story but like they basically like they use each other for sex but like it's in the way like it shows like um what's his name Kwame so Kisuke like the main character um he's the boy that the girl is using I believe her name is Sato and his name is Ayobi or something like that and um Basically, she's using him. Well, they're both using each other. But, it, like, you start to, like, f you know, feel pity for them. Because, like, 
they both want something they can't have. You know, she wants to be in a happy relationship that doesn't really necessarily rely on sex. And he wants to kind of, like, one, avenge his brother. And two, like, find this girl of his dreams, basically. And, you know, trying to find that girl after Sato deleted all the stuff on his computer is a challenge. But he uses Sato at the same time for sex. So it's a very interesting story. I mean... It's up to you guys if you're, like, really interested in, in that kind of stuff. Uh, I also have, again, Neo Sano, one of my uh, favorite authors right now, Mangakas. Good night, Poon Poon. This book is amazing. Manga. Um, basically, it's like, uh, I mean, I already know the spoilers for all the volumes, but in short, it's basically about uh, a child... Poon Poon and you like basically go through what his life is and his life sucks like uh you get to see like why he turns out to be the way he is eventually and it's like this long journey basically like of him losing like his innocence in a sense because his parents are mean to him and like you know that's what happens in life like you're you're not fully in control of everything and and when you try to reach out to like this superior force like in this book for example god god doesn't really help you like he's just there and and it's 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 sad you know that's cuz that's kind of how it is in reality like you have no control and sometimes like nobody can help you so yeah uh this book is this manga i keep calling it a book sorry guys uh, I'm book manga, same same thing. But uh, next, Neo Sano, it's Lanan. I haven't really read a lot of this, but from what I have read, is it's very good. It's basically about the, so far what I read is like basically about this girl and like I think she like takes her job too seriously, and like she never like really focuses on anything else that's what i got from this so far and of course my one of my favorite animes of all time fairy tale this is the one through five volume i think it has like 900 pages or something like that if you guys are haven't watched fairy tale or read fairy tale you should start it's like it's it's amazing if you guys like Naruto, if you guys like One Piece, it's 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 on that you know top tier. Uh, yeah, Natsu has fire powers. He has happy. He has the girl who has basically like she could summon like all the the what do you call it like the Capricorn, Aquarius stuff like that. It's very good. Um, I also have 20th Century Boys Volume One. I have to say, this is very controversial. Honestly, I, I did not like it. I'm going to reread it because when I did read it, I skimmed through it because I got bored very fast. And honestly, I was expecting a lot. And maybe that's kind of why I, I read it the way I did. Like, I, I wasn't getting what everyone was saying. So I'm definitely going to reread it and then I'll, you know, update you guys on how I feel about it. Uh, we also have Tokyo Ghoul. I love the anime. Even though they messed up season 3. But it's alright. Season 3, season 4. Uh, yeah, I, I, so far... I mean, I already know the story because I watched all the anime. But it's amazing. The manga has like a lot more information and detail, I feel like. Um, I also have... Bakuman. So yeah, Bakuman... Is basically from the creator of uh, Death Note. <clears throat> and basically, I haven't read any of it yet, but I basically know um, that it is basically about... Um, it's about like a, a manga creator, basically. That's what it's about. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it, you know? I also have Inio Asano Alpha. 
that one's also about like a manga creator but i think it's like far more depressing so yeah and i also have last but not least eden zero eden zero is about fairy tales it's a this it's like sort of a sequel to fairy tale but not really it's by the same mangaka same manga actor um so far, I love it. Shiki and Rebecca. It's it's very good. If you like fairy tale, you'll love it. To be honest. Um. So yes. Yeah, so that's all the manga I have for now. Um. I also have Berserk somewhere over there, like the the hardcover uh deluxe edition. So yeah. Um. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up as many mangas for um next month because money's kind of low right now you know and i'm still trying to find a job so yeah uh hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching